Hey YouTube, it's Hank here, and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix, and it's free in the morning, so I have to talk quiet, how to fix Windows 10 startup issues. If you can't boot into Windows 10, boot errors, blue screens, or infinite boot loop, or is, if you can't boot your Windows 10 computer up, I'm going to do this over a virtual machine. So I'm just going to restart the computer, and we're going to pretend this computer can't boot up, okay? So we're going to reset it. You know, when you get to your... It's going to load into Windows here. And I'm just going to restart it again. Because um, most of you will probably be getting this screen. And I'm sorry, I can't talk really loud when it's free in the morning. It's almost four. And uh, well, I was just going to restart it one more time. Because for most people, if your computer can't start up, you're not going to get beyond this logo here. I may have to keep rebooting it a few times. Okay, now I think I got it. Now for some of you, you may be able to get to this recovery screen. But for some of you, you may not be able to get to this recovery screen. Alright? Now if you're one of the users that can't get to that recovery screen, um, th then you're going to need, if you can't get to this blue recovery screen, you're going to need a Windows DVD or a Windows USB stick to uh, continue further. All right, so you, I'm going to just insert the Windows installation media into the DVD, into the computer. Just give me a second here. And um, I'm going to insert the Windows DVD in. No, maybe you have a USB stick with Windows in it. Um, unfortunately, if you don't have this, you're not in good shape. But if you can get to this blue screen, then continue on after this step. Just uh, skip past this step. This is for people that can't get to the blue screen. But if you can get to this blue screen, just wait until I give you the next set of instructions. All right. So those of uh, you that can't get to um, this blue screen here, we're going to restart the computer and attempt to boot off the DVD. Alright. I just got to pause for a second. Right, so. We're going to uh, restart the computer. For some of you, you have to uh, find the right key to boot into the BIOS and change the boot order. This virtual box, I just went, wasted 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get into the BIOS, and apparently it doesn't, so have one. So, yeah, you want to uh, boot into the BIOS and make sure you put the DVD as your uh, boot device. Uh, and I'm, in my case, I'm just going to click C for CD. And it's going to say press any key to boot off a DVD. I'm just going to press any key. And there we go, I'm loading my Windows DVD now. And uh, if you don't know how to boot off a DVD, go ahead and check the video description box for a link that explains how to boot off a DVD. Alright. So when you get this, you're going to click next, and instead of clicking on install to install Windows, you're going to click repair your computer down here. And then you'll get this blue screen, okay? You want to click troubleshoot. Alright, and in here you have your command prompt, and you have system restore and stuff. So the first thing you're going to try is start up repair. And uh, if that doesn't fix your problems, um, come back in here and you're going to try System Restore. 
and uh, we can select the operating system. Um, I don't have restore points, so that's not going to be helpful. But if you had restore points, you can um, try to run system restore. All right, so if all else fails, we're going to be back to the troubleshooting menu. All right, so we're going to try the command prompt. All right, so when you open up the command prompt, you're going to get this x underscore sources now this is where it gets pretty tricky so you're going to have to follow along so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to try to find our c drive so we're going to push c colon and in some cases it's not going to be the drive letter c it will be renamed and i think in my case it's the letter d but we're going to c colon and enter and then you can see it's changed to c colon backslash right and then you're going to write in um, dir and there's no file found you're looking for a file called windows and it's not found therefore we're going to write um, d colon for some it's d colon now it's changed to the drive letter d and then you're going to write dir and now you can find the windows directory right there it will come up all right so at this time is when you're going to write the next command in all right so you're going to write cd you're going to put a space colon windows colon system 32 then put a Backslash, I'm sorry, I'm saying colon, that's backslash, backslash, and, um, then you're going to write in, um, config, and then you're going to click on enter, so it's going to now say, see, Windows System 32 config. And in here, we're going to write um, MD, and then put a space, and we're going to put right back up. And um, once you've uh, did that, um, hang by for the next uh, set. I've already made a backup. Just hang on. All right, I've already got a copy of this backup, but for you, you want to do what I did. But for me, I have to write MD backup one. For you, just write MD backup like you did it. All right. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna. Um, right in the following command just a second you're going to write copy then you're going to put a space and you're going to put a star period star and then you're going to put another space and you're going to write back up right and then you want to hit enter and then you're gonna it's gonna ask if you want to overwrite back up or something like that it may not but if this is the first time doing it just push a for all all right and then you're gonna write in um cd pig back I believe just a second All right yeah you're right cd rig back and you're gonna click enter and then you're gonna write um dir again 
and in this case we're going to write the following command Right, and you're, so you're going to write um, the following command in copy, then space, star, period, star, then you're going to put a space and put two periods. And then you're going to click enter and it's going to say overwrite or maybe you just want to click a put a in capital a for, and then it's going to say five files copied and that's uh we just backed up the registry and put a fresh copy of a new registry in and um now we can exit out of the command prompt turn off the computer and um, I'm just going to go back into uh, the VM we'll power it back on see if we can get into Windows did it correctly you can get into windows again now if you're still having problems booting into windows after this you may have to reinstall windows with the windows dvd um, thanks for watching my video remember to comment write and subscribe i already know this is going to boot in give it a few seconds here and that is how you fix startup problems in windows Hopefully that helped you.